What's up, dude and dudettes? Welcome to the Mullet Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Collection Gung Ho. It's also a Walmart exclusive. Let's get to it. Here's a look at the retro card back, and I gotta say, this thing is massive. This thing is totally radical. I did take out the figure already to review it myself. Um, so yeah, here is the card back compared to 25th Anniversary G.I. Joe Gung Ho. The main similarities I can see is... The upper part, the classified one, has more detail, it looks like. Also, the chest logos are different, if you can see that. Uh, looks like the gun's the same, but also different. I think they took a picture of the classified figure itself, and then kind of like painted over it or something, because here you can kind of see the knee joints and... And I think that kind of looks like an arm peg. I'm not for sure, though. Uh, and then the 25th anniversary one, you don't have any of those lines. Well, I guess you do have that dot, so no, I don't think that is an arm peg, actually. But very similar, just a slight few differences. Let's turn it over to the card backs. And now it did come from Walmart, shipped in a bag, so it came damaged, of course. But here we got the file card in all five languages. Upcoming figures. And compare that to the 25th anniversary one. You got way more figures and a bit more backstory. says both the same with the classified file card I do like these way more better than the standard ones on the normal classified figures because it's actually tangible it's right there you can cut it out if you want it's just it's straight retro uh, it looks like they kept everything the same as far as his details go his name birthplace uh, primary military speciality but it looks like they added a roll. And right here it says Marine. If we look on the 25th anniversary figure, there is no roll. So that's new. Now if you guys want to open these really slick so you still have a clean card back with a fully attached bubble, uh, I'll tell you how I did it. So basically in the back, they have this extra plastic flap taped here. If you cut that tape, it'll fold down like this. And then I just took a razor blade and cut down here and here. That way you can easily just slide out the figure in the tray. And here's what we've all been waiting to see, the figure itself. The figure's amazing sculpt. Great paint deco. It looks like a mini statue. You got his blaster rifle, his backpack, handgun, and also a knife. And yes, it is removable. Really cool sculpt. That slides back in. Now these classified... Retro Joes do come with uh, figure stands, which is awesome. The design in it is kind of like the 50th anniversary logo with the star and then the three stripes. Um, but his hat is fully removable. And I like this way better than the initial release in the Classified series. The mustache is better. And he doesn't have that weird mohawk thing. He looks more like Gung Ho and less like Chuck Liddell. I really like the tattoo on his chest. They went with the dark blue, which I thought was really cool because it matches more of the card back. 
The vest is also removable. So are these, these, and this. Those are also fully removable. So if you just wanted a brawling gung-ho, you can take all that off uh, and just have them in his camo pants, his boots, and a knife. And it would look awesome if he was going against Croc Master or something. Articulation is pretty basic, what you would expect with a G.I. Joe classified figure. You got double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, uh, swivel wrist. They also have a hinge on them so they can move in and out. Uh, rotate at the thigh here. Uh, normal hips where they go side to side, front to back. Uh, ankles, pivot. Head moves up, down, sideways. Tricep to shoulder. There's a swivel there. Shoulder has a swivel plus a butterfly joint. You can kind of see where it attaches underneath the vest here. They did a pretty good job of hiding that. Uh, and an ab crunch as well as a turning point here at the waist. Here he is next to the other Joes. The original Gung Ho and then the 25th anniversary Gung Ho. Again, now the classified series does have a different chest tattoo than both the original and the 25th anniversary. I really do like this new updated one with the eagle uh, and the knife coming down. I think that's really cool looking. Um, the colors are much brighter, more closer to the original turquoise looking kind uh, as to the 25th anniversary, which is more camo green. You can see as both on the classified and the retro hip ammunition, uh, ankle knife, and gun holster. 25th anniversary did the same thing, but without the knife. So this classified one is more closely to the original. In regard to the hat, he has the same emblem he does on the chest, I believe. While the 25th anniversary one just has an anchor. And the original one looks like just like these little wings. Here he is next to another classified figure, Spirit Eye or Knife. And you can see he's about a head taller. And much more wider and bulkier. The thing that was interesting to me is the figure stand that came with Gung Ho does not fit his feet. His feet are much more smaller, the pegs, than the pegs on this stand. I don't know if that's due because he's a bulkier, bigger figure, or if they just did this exclusively for Gung Ho. Gung Ho is a Walmart exclusive, so if you haven't got them, check out Walmart because they currently have them in stock. And I, I definitely get one of these. I, I'm much more of a 3.75 inch collector, so I only collect these classified Joes on how much I like the figure. Um... I think the best gung-ho overall is the 50th anniversary one that came in the two-pack. But this one is just super awesome as well. It's a big, big improvement on the initial release. I did not like the initial release gung-ho. I thought the armor was too weird. Uh, I didn't like the hair. I didn't like the mustache that went all the way down his face. Uh, all in all, they used the same parts, 
but new vest, n new head sculpt, uh, just way better. Also, if you're interested, I do make these skirts or loincloths for Spirit Eye or Knife to give it more of a nostalgic look. It's on sale at Etsy. I'll put the link in the description below. It comes in two styles, and both styles are included with free shipping. So check that out if you're interested. Until next time, stay safe. God bless. This is the Mullet Review.